Hi guys, so for this last video, we've talked about sort of those initial steps and coming to, close to God saying sorry, please, and thank you. We've talked about God's communication through to us through his word, we've talked about our communication to God through prayer. For this last video, I want to, uh, what we want to address is really the environment in which spiritual growth happens. Environment really matters. If I take one seed and I put it in a rainforest and I take another seed and I put it in a desert, the environment is going to determine much about which seed is really going to flourish. Well, you and I are the same way. And we have this sort of fiction in America, this fictional idea that if, if I just kind of read my Bible and pray, or if I just talk to God on my own, uh, then I'll be good. We're, we're a very individualistic culture. Western culture is. Eastern culture is very communal. Western culture, individualistic. And so we have a very sort of like me and God sort of perspective on spirituality. But this was not Jesus's perspective on spirituality. This is not God's perspective. God envisions it very differently. And he gives us a handful of metaphors to describe the spiritual community uh, depicted in the Bible as what we would call church. Church in the Bible is not a place you go to. It is a people the people of God, and the local expression of that. Wellspring is one of those local expressions of that. But, but church at its core is the people of God. And there are several metaphors I mentioned just a moment ago uh, for the church. One of them is what the Bible calls the body of Christ. The idea is that Christ is the head of the church. He's the leader, and that we as the body, he says we're all different. One person's a finger, one's a toe, one's a shoulder, one's a this, one's a that. We're all different. And so we have different expressions and purposes from uh, within the body of Christ, and yet we are all connected to the same head. He's the leader of us all. So there's one analogy. Another analogy is the Bible refers to the church as the household of God. That is the family of God. And so we're not just a collection of individuals. We're actually a spiritual family. We don't just go to church to hear a sermon and get our little spiritual nugget. We're actually meant to be connected in a spiritual community with God as our father and brothers and sisters in Christ. Uh, the last metaphor I'll bring up is that the scripture refers to us as the flock of God. And the idea here is that he, Jesus is our, quote, good shepherd who lays his life down for the sheep. But we are the sheep. We're the ones who follow him. And what happens if you take a sheep away from the flock? It gets devoured by wolves. What happens if you take somebody out of, you know, a little child out of his family? Household of God. What happens if you take a body part and chop it off from the body? We're the body of Christ. My point in saying all of these things is that all of these metaphors for church are meant to communicate that spiritual life happens when we are together, when we are apart, when we're separate, doing our own things, not really in community, spiritual growth doesn't happen. Now, for me personally, this was a big deal for me because I didn't really grow up going to church. And so when I became a Christian, I was kind of wanted to keep the church at arm's length because church people just didn't really seem that cool and seem kind of weird. And uh, and it kind of just gradually happened that I got engaged in church. But, but my spiritual growth was really stunted until I made the decision to just sort of really plunge in and engage this community of people. And what I found is you know, in America, we tend to think like I'm the neck of Christ, like I'm just connected directly to him and everything just flows to me. But if I'm really like the, the pinky finger of Christ, then that means that it's through a hand and it's through an arm and it's through a shoulder all the way up to the neck, to the head. I'm connected to Christ through other people. And I found that I began to use the spiritual gifts that God gave me. And I began to meet spiritual mothers and fathers and then brothers and sisters in the faith who were further along in the Lord and started to encourage me. All of my spiritual growth in one way or another has been connected to church. And so I want to encourage you, engage the life of the church. Start with a Sunday morning and then go beyond that to one of our, uh, our small groups or, or one, uh, you know, one of our ways of volunteering. There are lots of ways to get engaged. But just begin on a Sunday morning and take it from there uh, because church is a huge part of spirituality. Spirituality in the Bible is not individual, it's communal. There's an individual piece to it.
but it can't be separated from the community because Jesus wants to be, uh, Jesus wants us to be a spiritual family. Okay, so uh, there you go. Those are a few videos on, on being closer to God. I hope you'll join us on uh, on any Sunday and just begin to get engaged in the life of this church. I want to make myself uh, available. I always stay after church for a long time. I'm usually the last person to leave and I want to meet you, get to know you a little bit. And we want to help you on this journey. Thanks a lot.